Good morning, good, uh, good evening, Chocolate Lover. Welcome to Chocolate TV, episode 338. I'm sorry, this is Wednesday. Uh, usually I do this on Monday, Mondays, but I was busy doing work uh, 500 kilometers from here. Uh, so I can tape uh, a show. Uh, and this Wednesday, uh, sunny outside, uh, but windy. Autumn is here, it's September. And I thought we'd go with... Zebeda, a Swedish brand uh, made with beans from the Congo, magic beans from the Moon Mountain. Uh, I don't know. I think it's Forestero's beans from Congo. That's it. And this one has 70% cocoa. Uh, so it's uh, uh, cocoa, coconut sugar, uh, cocoa butter, raspberry, and uh, acai berry. So there's not uh, any raw sugar or any sugar, so it's coconut sugar instead. So, cacao, cocoa, and coconut, and acai and raspberry. So let's try that. Quite dark, brown, chocolate, chocolate brown, yes. We like chocolate brown chocolate, don't we? Chocolate brown chocolate. Will always go down. Chocolate brown chocolate. Well, never mind. Uh, let's smell it because that's what we do. We look at the chocolate and we smell the chocolate and then we taste it and then we grade it, review it. It would say something about it. And this is just a personal opinion. Uh, you're free to indulge in eating chocolate, tasting chocolate, trying chocolate, and have your own opinion. That's okay. It's a dark scent. It is of dark chocolate powder. It is of traces of black tea. I got some uh, licorice root as well. If there's raspberry, I can't find the acidity from the raspberry. Or the uh, a kai berry is a, a it's a blueberry. It's a, it's not a blueberry. It's a, a dark blue, almost blackberry. Maybe I can pick up something like that, but because it's it's a dark nose, hmm? uh, even a touch of salt. But the, the ingredients list didn't say that. But that's what I'm feeling on my nose. I have had a cold for a, more than a week, so who knows? Let's try it. Dry, a little bit tart, almost like sandy tannins in the red wine. You know, dark chocolate, but you got some fruit, and that's the raspberry and acai berry talking. It's mixing up like a hello, darling. It's mixing like you mix some blueberry and some raspberry. And even some black currant. That's the kind of fruity feel. Still dry. The fruit's acidity kicks in, so it gives it another balance, takes away a little bit of the, of the bitterness, the tartness. Nice balance between the fruit, the berries, and the chocolate. And it wasn't that much of a, what you'd say, half a percent of a kai and one percent of raspberry. The other 98.5 percent is cocoa, cocoa, cocoa mass, cocoa butter, and coconut sugar. So, uh, nice chocolate. It's vegan friendly, if I didn't say that. It's, it's vegan friendly as well. Uh, I'd say I'd give this one uh, 7 out of 10, a good score for a flavoured chocolate, on my part. Uh, I'm not sure it sells outside, outside of Sweden, but uh, you can check. Uh, well, that's it for this Wednesday, uh, episode 338, and I'll be back next week. Bye.